How should you prioritize tasks at your company? Task prioritization often seems straightforward. Look at what's due soon and save the rest for later. But this may lead to a reduction in meaningful productivity at your business. In today's video, we'll talk about how to best prioritize tasks. I'm Sissy from Jotform and let's get into the video. It's easy to become addicted to checking things off your to-do list. It might not seem nefarious, much like being addicted to coffee or your cell phone, but over time, it could put your business in jeopardy and you might not even realize what's happened until it's too late. At first, this doesn't seem like a problem at all. Actually, it sounds pretty productive. But the problem is there's a tendency to complete items on your list based on how urgent they are or how much time they would take not based on their importance. This keeps you busy, but lacking a sense of priority. If this is you, you're not alone. Many people, when given the choice between less important tasks with shorter deadlines and more important tasks that are less urgent, will opt to complete the first. This is because it feels good to finish things. In fact, checking items off your to-do list releases dopamine, which is rewarding and makes you more likely to complete similar tasks but checking items off your to-do list doesn't necessarily make you an effective leader. Prioritization is what can make your productivity meaningful. So what should you prioritize? Prioritization requires an understanding of your work, your team, and yourself. Two guiding questions to help you prioritize your work are, what is my highest contribution? And what am I passionate about? Understanding your highest contribution means understanding both your organization's needs and your own capabilities. Most leaders, especially at startups, have a broad skill set that allows them to go from a pitch meeting to coding without issue. Your highest contribution won't include all of your capabilities, but instead, how they can best be used. What can you bring to the table that no one else can? By focusing on your unique strengths, you'll succeed in your role while making a meaningful impact on your company. But you shouldn't just prioritize what you're good at. Remember that passion is also motivating. Working on objectives that you feel are fulfilling allows you to implement your values every day. People who do work that they see as meaningful are more willing to work for less money and to work longer hours, showing the innate value in prioritizing work that fits within your values. Keep in mind, not all tasks are created equal. It's common to do the easy work first, especially if it's time sensitive. However, meaningful tasks are less likely to have deadlines. Things like skill development or implementing your values should always have a presence in your work life. They might not have a deadline because they're never really finished. This means that the most important tasks tend to end up at the bottom of your to-do list. So how do you prioritize what's important over what's urgent? First, translate your business and life priorities into specific tasks. For instance, making progress on learning French is a vague goal that seems less achievable than doing 15 minutes of Duolingo every Tuesday. Keep tasks small and manageable to build them into habits. For larger projects, such as defining a quarterly strategy, break up the work into its different parts. Then give yourself a deadline or schedule the tasks in your calendar like you would a meeting. Block time every morning to make progress on your bigger goals. Plus, by working on it every day, your priorities and values will stay at the forefront of your mind. Then you should invest in some solutions. In order to spend more time on important work, you'll have to do less of the unimportant stuff. But the urgent, less important work still needs to get done. So how do you create balance? First, make sure that the task is as important as you think it is. As organizations grow, they have a tendency to fall into a trap of this is how we've always done things. Take the time to reevaluate your processes and see what no longer works. Next, see what no longer makes sense for you to take on. In a startup's early days, every team member is doing multiple jobs. As you grow, it's likely that you've held on to some tasks just because you've always done them. Delegating tasks to the right person both clears tasks off your plate and gives your colleague more ownership over their position. For everything else on the list, try to find an easier way to do it. 
Often we're so busy chasing chickens that we don't have time to build a coop. It's worth the upfront investment to save time through automating, streamlining, or outsourcing. And then you just time box everything that's left over. Parkinson's law says that tasks expand to fill the amount of time you have to complete them. Time boxing forces you to be decisive and to prioritize what's finished and good over what's perfect, which also gives you a sense of control. You can determine how long a task should take based on the work itself and schedule it instead of organizing your time based on availability. The result of being more deliberate with your time is that you will have more of it to focus on what really matters. Let's go ahead and review what we discussed today. It's easy to want to complete tasks based on how urgent they are or on their importance, but strategically prioritizing tasks can make you more productive and more satisfied with your work overall. When prioritizing tasks, keep the following in mind. Focus both on your unique strengths and what you're passionate about. Translate your broader objectives into specific actionable tasks. Invest in solutions that will pay off in the long term. Consider what tasks you may be able to delegate. And finally, time box anything that's left to make sure you're using your time wisely. Thanks for joining us. Again, I'm Sissy from Jotform, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>